This task will help you to understand the idea of implicit information. This means information that's only hinted at in the text, not clearly stated. Inferring information, which means working out what is implied in a text, is a really important skill. You'll use it in the first reading question in each paper and in other reading questions. Writers often imply information rather than stating it. So let's look at the statements A to H referring to the sentence taken from the novel The War of the Worlds. A says the narrator is frightened. Well, what's the evidence? He describes himself as running madly towards the trees. So yes, it's reasonable to infer that he is frightened. B says that the narrator has never seen a Martian before. The sentence doesn't actually state this, but it seems very likely to be true. After all, he's running away from them, almost falling over himself because he can't stop looking at them. So yes, this is implied. C. The narrator is old. Well, he runs stumblingly, but that's because he's so horrified that he can't look away, not because he's old. As for D, if the narrator is terrified of the Martians, he can't expect them to be friendly. For E, you need to know or work out that the phrase avert my eyes means look away. Why can't he look away? Answer, because he's fascinated. F suggests that the narrator is a Martian. In theory, this could be possible from the sentence alone. The narrator could be a Martian who's horrified by humans, but the introductory line makes it clear that this is not the case. So, G. Does the narrator think he'll be safer among the trees? He turns away from the Martians and runs towards the trees, so the sentence does imply that he thinks he'll be safer there. Lastly, H. The narrator runs madly, but this doesn't necessarily mean fast. In fact, he's so busy trying to look over his shoulder that he runs stumblingly, so he couldn't be very fast. Remember, implicit information is information which is hinted at.